BSO Escucha. Entrevistas. Sonido. A 24 I will talk about my career as an independent animator. Voy a hablar de mi carrera como un animador independiente. And then in the end, if I have time, everybody gets a postcard. Y al final, si tenemos tiempo, cada uno se va a dar una postal. I'll make a drawing for you. It's a tradition. I've been doing that for many times. Es una tradición que estuve haciendo a lo largo de los años. So I will start with my life. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, which is just north of California. Voy a comenzar hablándoles de mi vida. Nací en Portland, Oregon, que es un poco al norte de California. And it rains a lot there, lots of rain, so I spent my time indoors drawing every day. Y llueve tanto que me pasaba mis días dibujando adentro de la casa todos los días. And I saw Disney cartoons on TV, and I thought they were so funny. I said, I want to make drawings that make people laugh like that. Y miraba los cartoons de Disney en la tele y pensaba que eran tan graciosos que quise hacer eso. And so, at a very early age, like five or six, I knew I wanted to make animation. Es muy chiquito, desde los cinco años más o menos, lo supe que quería hacer animación. How many people here want to make animation? ¿Cuántos quieren hacer animación? Uh, well, let me tell you, it's a good time to make animation. Déjenme decirles que es un buen momento para hacer animación. When I was in college, animation was dead. There was no uh, Disney, there was no uh, distribution, it was impossible. Cuando iba a la Facu, hacer animación era muy difícil, no había, no había Disney, no había distribución, era imposible. But now there are wonderful opportunities uh, for animation careers. Y ahora hay muchísimas oportunidades para carreras en la animación. So I hope that I will give you some information that will help you become a big success. Así que espero darles información que los ayude a tener mucho éxito. Uh, so I, when I got out of college, there were no animation schools. So I had no idea how to make an animated film. Así que cuando salí de la facultad no había escuelas de animación, por lo que no tenía ni idea de cómo hacer una película de animación. So I moved to New York City and I became an illustrator and political cartoonist. Así que me mudé a Nueva York, en la otra costa, y me transformé en un ilustrador y, y humorista político. And after 15 years, I got tired of illustrations, and I said, I need to make an animated film. Okay, Después de 15 años, se cansó de hacer esto y dijo, quiero hacer animación. <laughs> so I worked on this film called Boomtown, that was written by somebody else and I was hired to animate the whole film. Así que lo contrataron de este film que se llama Blue Town, que lo dirigió o lo escribió alguien más y lo contrataron para hacer la animación. And I got paid no money, but, <laughs> but they taught me how to make a film, how to do all the technical things. Pero le enseñaron a hacer la película, toda la, todos los aspectos técnicos. And the film was a, a modest success, so I said, now I want to make my film. Y como el film tuvo un éxito moderado, pensó que fue el momento de hacer su película. So I had a crazy idea of taking a face and doing some strange, surreal things with the face. Así que tuvo una idea loca que fue agarrar la cara y hacer algo surrealista con las caras. It was a stupid film, and it took me a month to make it. Una, una, un film estúpido y le tomó como un mes hacerlo. And the first screening was a competition in New York with all other New York animators. Y la primera exhibición fue una competición en Nueva York con a lot. con un montón de gente. Fifteen. And uh, I was in the back because I was so embarrassed at such a 
And as soon as the film started showing, people started to laugh. Y bien, empezaron a pasar la peli, la gente se empezó a reír. And it's difficult to tell you the emotion that I felt when people started to laugh at my movie. Es muy difícil de describirle las emociones que sentí cuando la gente empezó a reírse de, de la película. I felt like I was on crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Lifted up into the air. Yo que estaba medio drogado. And I've never done crack cocaine, but I'm Because all these years I've been doing gag cartoons and blimp cartoons, I've never heard people laugh at my drawings. And to hear a whole room of people laughing was a new experience. En todo este tiempo haciendo las tiras cómicas que venía haciendo, nunca escuchó a la gente riéndose y esta fue una experiencia nueva. And after the screening, people came up to me and said, Are you Bill Clinton? Did you make that film your face? Y le fueron a buscar después de la exhibición y le preguntaban si él era Bill Clinton, si era que hizo la cosa loca con la cuchara. I said, Yeah, that's me. And they said, Well, let's go out and have a drink and talk about animation. And I felt like I was home, like this is where I should have been, right out of college. <laughs> and amazingly, the film was a, a huge success. It was nominated for an Oscar. It played on MTV. It was on TV stations all over the world. And I was making a lot of money. <laughs> but the weird thing is that um, it was that night of the screening was so powerful. The next day, I called up all my magazines and newspapers. The next day, yes, after the screening. Yes. Dice que después al otro día de, de la exhibición lo tomaron por teléfono y salió de fondo. And I said I'm quitting print. I'm going into animation. Okay. Dijo estoy renunciando a hacer tiras cómicas impresas porque voy a dedicar a la animación. And they all said you're crazy. Animation is dead. Estás loco. La animación está. No one makes money in animation. Nadie hace plata haciendo animación. Yeah. And I said, no, I think I can do it. <laughs> and so I, since that time, I've been making animation and making money. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you want to see the film Your Face, you can see it online. It's pretty much everywhere online, YouTube and iTunes. A propósito, si quieren ver el film Your Face, Está bastante online en YouTube, etc. I'm going to do, uh, show you how uh, to make a film that makes money. <laughs> so uh, we, I call it Plimpton's Dogma. <laughs> A number one, rule number one, make your film short. Primera regla, hacer tu película corta. Do not make a 15-minute film or a 20-minute film. Nobody will buy it. No lo hagas de 15 minutos, no lo hagas de 20 minutos, nadie lo va a comprar. Because you can, you can show it on, on internet, you can show it in a movie cinema, you can show it on a, a, a DVD, it fits in so many places. Lo puedes pasar en internet, lo puedes pasar en un cine, lo puedes pasar en cualquier lado, encaja en muchísimos lugares. I judge a lot of festivals, and if I see a film that's 20 minutes long, already, I don't like that film. Soy juez en muchísimos festivales, si recibo un corto que dura 20 minutos, inmediatamente no le gusta. Because if that's a bad film, I'm stuck for 20 minutes watching crap. <laughs> so 
So keep it around five minutes. <laughs> number two, make your film cheap. Háganlo barato. Regla número dos. And uh, if you do all of the jobs in the film, your film will be free. Y hace todas las tareas en su corto, su corto es gratis. For my films, I do the producing, I do the directing, I do the uh, storyboards. Para sus cortos hace la producción, hace la edición, hace los storyboards. I do the layouts, I do the animation. Hace el layout, hace la animación. Sometimes I do the coloring. A veces lo colorea. And I do sometimes the sound and the music. Y a veces hacen los sonidos y la música. So that way the film is very cheap. De este modo el corto es muy barato. Um, the, um, and also it's fun. I, I really enjoy making films. It's really fun. Um, and the final one is, I see we're down here. Uh, I'll just tell you, it's uh, make your film funny. Y la regla número tres es hacerlo divertido. Um, because if your film is funny, Everybody will want to see it. <laughs> if your film is funny, everybody will want to see it. Si su film es gracioso, todo el mundo lo va a querer ver. If you want to make a political film or an abstract film, uh, go ahead. Si quieren hacer un film político o un film abstracto, adelante. But uh, nobody will want to see it. <laughs> but if you put some humor in there, have some jokes, then it will be very popular. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, my film Guard Dog was nominated for an Oscar in 19... Uh, I'm sorry, 2005. Mi corto Gardo fue nominado a los Oscars en el 2005. Yes. 2005. And it was against a wonderful film from Canada called Ryan by Chris Landon. Y estaba compitiendo contra un buen, un gran film canadiense llamado Ryan de Chris Landon. It was produced by the Canadian Film Board. Que fue producido por el National Film Board de Canadá. And he won, on the stand up, he won the Oscar uh, because his film was a great film. It was a fantastic film. He said the Oscar because his film era muy bueno. Um, but he broke every one of my rules. <laughs> <laughs> it was 18 minutes long. <laughs> it was a computer, Maya computer animation, must have cost a million dollars. <laughs> And it was not funny. It was about a drug addict, addict uh, who um, um, ended up homeless. Yes, very good. But you know what? That film will never make money. It will yeah. lose a lot of money. But that's okay, it's a Canadian film board, they don't care about money, they just want the Oscar. <laughs> but my film, Cargo, went on to make lots of money, and uh, it helped pay for my next film. So I'm independent, and I need that money to continue to make my films. So I was in Annecy with Matt Groening, and he asked me to work on The Simpsons. I said, "Yeah, I would love to work on The Simpsons." So I've done five of these, what's called couch gags. And they're seen by billions of people. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love doing the couch guys. It's really great. So anyway, I'll continue my story. 
So Your Face was a big success. And then I did uh, four more films, uh, 25 Ways to Quit Smoking. Entonces, volviendo al tema anterior, Your Face fue un gran éxito, así que hizo cuatro cortos más. Uno, el, creo que el que vamos a ver ahora es 25 maneras de dejar de fumar. Uh, then I did How to Kiss. Después hizo Cómo Besar. Then I did uh, Push Comes to Show. Después hizo Push Comes to Show. Push Comes to Show. Uh, one of those days. One of those days, uno de esos días. And Flip Tunes. Y Flip Tunes. So I put them all together in a, uh, a video cassette with some of my other films, and I realized it's like an hour long uh, collection. It's like a feature film. Así que lo juntó a todos en un video cassette, y se dio cuenta que era como una hora de material animado, casi como un largometraje. So the, I became aware that I could theoretically make my own film. Así que se dio cuenta que teóricamente él, él era capaz de hacer un largometraje. The largometraje. Hmm. Uh, which is pretty crazy because no one's ever done that before, except maybe Cristiani. I don't know. Did he, did he do every drawing? He was doing cut out animation. Doing what? Cut out animation. Oh, cut out. Ah, yeah. ah. Lo cual le parecía muy loco porque no sabía de nadie que lo hubiese hecho solo. So I just thought, why don't just do it, you know, just make the film. And so I spent two years uh, making the film. Así que dijo, bueno, vamos a hacerlo y se pasó dos años haciendo, haciéndolo. It's called The Tune. Se llama The Tune, La Tonada. And Barbara, are we playing it here, The Tune? Ya lo tenemos. Oh, okay. Right. It got invited to the uh, the Sundance Festival. I think the first animated feature to be invited to Sundance. And it was a really wonderful, uh, wonderful reception by the audience. And uh, Quentin Tarantino was there that year with Reservoir Dogs. Quentin Tarantino está pasando perros de la calle ese año. And he comes up to me. Bill Clinton, oh my God, I've seen all your films, man, I love your films. He knows all about my movies. Y vino de esa manera a decirme, Bill Clinton, ¿has visto todas mis películas? Y me dijo, sí, todas las vi. Todas las películas. In fact, I've been in trivia. If you see Kill Bill, Así que como trivia, si vieron Kill Bill, the character that Uma Thurman, Uma Thurman is marrying, el personaje que Uma Thurman está con el que se está casando, it's called Mr. Clinton. Se llama Mr. Clinton. <laughs> and I saw Quentin. I said, "Where'd you get that name, Clinton?" He goes, "It's you, dude." <laughs> 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 so uh, the tune went on to big success, and I've been making uh, largometraje for um, you know my whole career. <laughs> also, I want to thank uh, Kaloy because I've known him for maybe 20 years. También le quiero agradecer a Caloy, que lo conoce desde hace 20 años. Gran aplauso. Yeah. Uh, because he's been showing my films on his uh, TV show, and I think that's the reason that uh, I'm so popular here in Argentina. Él dice que estuvo pasando sus películas durante todo este tiempo y que piensa que es la razón por la que nosotros conocemos sus películas acá en Argentina. Yeah, it's, I really uh, thank him because I, this is my third trip to Argentina. Así que le agradece que, la que es su tercer viaje acá. I was here about 10 years ago, I think. Si no sé, 10 años. I had a big crowd and then also Rosario uh, two years ago. Tuvo un gran, gran público también en Rosario hace dos años. So I come here many times because I, I love to come here. Así que le encanta venir y viene mucho. ¿Y qué es Córdoba? Where? You were in Córdoba. Cordoba? Yes. No, no. Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, I took a car. But I want to I want to drink the culture and the water, so maybe I will be as good as Carlos Nina and uh, Oscar Vivo. Así que quiere quería absorber quería beber del agua y absorber la cultura a ver si se pone tan bueno como Nina. Uh, Oscar Vivo, Carlito, Juanpa. Yeah. Um, so I've made uh, seven animated features. Vengeance is my eighth. Uh, after um, the two, I did. Um, uh, 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 yeah, um, uh, I married a strange person. Mutant aliens. Mutant aliens. Mutant aliens. Aliens of uh, 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 hair high. Hair high, like a uh, Idiots and angels. Idiots and angels. And cheating. Cheating. And then, and then one here, uh, uh, revengeance. Revenge. So I love doing it, and I hope to continue to make uh, feature films. And you'll see that my newest film at the end of this uh, uh, screening. Y van a ver su última película al final de esta de, de esta exhibición. Uh, can I do the camera again? Is the camera working? <laughs> I'm going to do a character now that I will probably do for you uh, at the end of the uh, projection. <laughs> This is the dog, and the dog is very famous. It's round circle, something like that. And then the two ears, a tail, a big mouth, big eyes, and a nose, big tongue. A little tooth, one, one single tooth. <laughs> so you notice the shape is very important. It's a very simple shape and a very simple design. There's not a lot of um, a detail here, and I don't like detail. There's his legs. <laughs> And that's his leash. And he's always jumping and running around. And I, I like to do a little um, saliva. You say saliva? <laughs> yeah. Because he's barking all the time. So this is the drawing I will do for you after the... Uh, I'll be out in that lobby there. I'll do a drawing for you. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Hay preguntas? Hola, Bill. Un placer conocerte. Eh, tenía una duda sobre tu trabajo, sobre todas tus obras. Eh, quería saber cuál era tu opinión de, de la técnica de otros copios. He visto que a veces la, la usan en ciertas escenas. <laughs> I use it uh, a long time ago, and I love rotoscope. But I don't like it if they just outline it um, frame by frame. I like it when you exaggerate and do weird distortion to rotoscope. Does anybody not know what a rotoscope is? Alguien no sabe lo que es la rotoscopía. Okay, smart. Smart. No, I love rotoscoping, and the, the difficulty for me is that I work um, by hand. Le gusta la rotoscopía y lo difícil que a él le resulta es que trabaja a mano. 
And if I did it digitally on a Cintiq or something like that, it would be much easier. Y si lo hiciese digitalmente con una Cintiq o alguna otra tableta, lo resultaría más fácil. But I love working on paper, and like I said, uh, I will have my drawings out here so you can see the drawings after the uh, screening. Pero le gusta trabajar en papel, eh, como les dije, y quiere mostrar sus dibujos más tarde para que los vean. And I really enjoy making the drawings, as you can see with that last film. It's so much fun. Me gusta mucho haciendo los dibujos, como pudieron ver en el último corto. Es muy divertido. Plus, the drawings are for sale. It's another source of income for me. Además, los dibujos originales nos pone a la venta y es otra fuente de ingresos para él. And when I have gallery ex ex exhibitions, I have a lots of artwork to put in the gallery. Entonces, cuando hace exposiciones en galerías, tiene un montón de obra para exponer en la galería. Um, So I think I have time for a couple of questions. Is that is that okay? And then I'll, I'll go back and give you all your drawings. Yeah. Tenemos tiempo para un par de preguntas más. Dos preguntas. Hola, es un gusto conocerte. Eh, mi nombre es Agustín. Quería saber si siempre usas el método de animación Street Ahead o si a veces usas Pose to Pose y si animas en si te gusta más animar en unos o en dos. If it's a complicated shot, uh, then I will do uh, extremes. Si es una toma complicada, va a dibujar los extremos primero, las puntas. However, if it's a simple shot, then I'll go right ahead. Si es una toma sencilla, se manda directo. And sometimes that's better. It works better that way to go just straight ahead because you discover new things. Y a veces es mejor ir para adelante eh, porque se descubren cosas nuevas. There was a second part of the quest. Oh, okay, I didn't hear it. If you enjoy uh, working on ones or twos? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> um, threes. I do threes. Le gusta hacer a... Ocho, ocho frames por segundo la animación. What? Three or two? Three. 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 Sometimes if it's fast, I'll do twos or maybe ones. A veces si es muy rápido la hace de a dos, o sea, 12 frames por segundo, como decimos nosotros. And if it's slow, slow motion, you know. Y si es una cámara muy lenta. Maybe about fives, maybe sixes, something like that. Lo hace en cinco o en seis. But threes are, are comfortable for me. And the reason threes work. Tres te queda cómodo y el motivo por el que le funciona. Is because the drawings are very rough edged. They are almost impressionistic. Es porque los dibujos tienen bordes como muy, muy peludos, es casi impresionista. So you don't see the, the strobe that you'll see in, in stop motion animation or something like computer animation. Entonces no se ve que quede medio trabada o estroboscópica la animación como se ve en stop motion. That's why my technique works uh, with uh, threes. Por eso le funciona en su técnica hacer esta frecuencia. Otra pregunta. Otra pregunta. Hi Bill, um, I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, I'm you you. um, and I wanted to ask you what's uh, the key to make a good gag or a good joke or what you uh, find makes people laugh? Yes, that's a very important question. Can I press it? Esa, yeah. esa está preguntando cuál es la clave para hacer un buen chiste o un buen gag que funcione. Um, I think the key to good humor is surprise. Se piensa que la clave de hacer un humor efectivo es la sorpresa. That's why I like uh, surrealism and, and to do something that's shocking or totally absurd. Por eso le gusta el surrealismo y hacer cosas que sean impactantes o totalmente absurdas. And in fact, surrealism is the key to almost all humor, even verbal humor. De hecho, el surrealismo es la clave para todo tipo de humor, inclusive el verbal o hablado. If it's something you don't expect, something that's a shock, that's when you laugh. So when that guard dog does all these crazy things like flying a plane and riding a rocket. Así que cuando el perrito hace estas cosas locas como volar un avión o cabalgar un 
poete. It's impossible. It's totally absurd, and that's why it's funny. Imposible, totalmente absurdo, y eso y es tiene humor. So I'm going to race back to the table. Are they, can they turn the light on back there? Robert, can they turn the light on in the lobby? Yes. Así que se va a ir bajando para la mesa, para adelante. Uh, so thank you very much. Yes. Two questions. Those, those big goodness. Gracias, Bill. Bienvenido a la Argentina. Mi pregunta es el tema del sonido en las partes de tensión o de acción. ¿Vos agarrás de librerías o tenés un equipo de gente que construye el sonido en la parte de orquestaciones, de, de instrumentos para la parte de la acción de, la, de las películas, ¿no? de los cortos? Yeah, I don't do the, uh, the sound. It's done by Weston Fonger, who's a great uh, sound editor. And he has a computer that has maybe a million sound effects. Western 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 Okay, as soon as they turn the you turn the light on? What about Foley? No uh, I don't do Foley. No, I don't Foley. No Foley. And my sound guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? You can ask the question back there. I have to be somewhere. When you can get in line, ask me that question. Um, and Barbara, should I say anything else about other shows? Muchas <laughs> gracias. BSO Escucha Entrevistas Facebook BSO La Rocker Twitter Arroba BSO La Rocker Sonidos A 24 cuadros por segundo <risa>